Congress General Secretary, he's defended scam tainted Suresh Kalmadi, and of course, former Maharashtra Chief Minister Ashok Chavan says he's pained at the hardships Kalmadi is facing in jail. Now, what's more shocking is that Digvijay Singh also said that he is upset that Ashok Chavan had to resign from the chief ministers' post, making a case for them. He says he's personally convinced that the two are innocent. Ashok Chavan ji ko mukhyamantri par se hatna pada. Hamein is baat ka dukh hai ki hamara bhai Suresh Kalmani ji ko aaj yatna hai sehni pad rahi hai. मैं निजी तौर पर इस बात का कन्विंस्ड हूं मैं निजी तौर पर मैं और दूसरी बात नहीं करता हूं दोहराना चाहता हूं मुझे निजी तौर पर मैं भरोसा मुझे है कि दोनों निर्दोष हैं और निर्दोष साबित हैं has the Congress General Secretary stirred up a hornet's nest here because uh, there will be adverse reactions coming in at this point in time because he's trying to defend uh, scamsters and those who tainted in corrupt activities. Let's get across to Nandita at this point in time. Nandita, this is not going to go down well with the, uh, with the, with the Congress government, the UPA government itself and also the opposition is going to jump at this now. Yes, it is. And in fact, uh, voices of uh, dissent have already started coming from the Congress. Officially, there isn't a reaction from the party, but uh, there's definitely a sense of uh, uh, anger and surprise at uh, what Mr. Digvijay Singh has said related to Suresh Kalmari and Ashok Chavan. Because remember, these are the resignations and these are the uh, people in the party against whom action has been taken. And these are the examples that uh, the Congress president keeps uh, talking about as part of Congress's cleanup act. So for Digvijay Singh to even show any sympathy towards them has not gone down well with senior leaders in the party. And in fact, we're also being told that Mr. Digvijay Singh may be asked to issue a clarification on what he said at the party function in Pune today. Well, was this of his own accord, of his own volition, or was he coerced into making such a statement, Nandita? No, not at all. This was a personal statement, uh, is what we are being told. In fact, uh, we did uh, manage to speak to Mr. Digvijay Singh after the function also, and he says that he completely stands by his statement. He says that these are his uh, personal opinions, and he feels that Mr. Suresh Kalmari and Ashok Chavan will, in time, to clear their names out of this entire mess. But the fact remains that the Commonwealth Games scam became, uh, you know, so controversial and so dirty for Congress and it caused so much criticism to the UPA government that such hard action had to be taken and that's why Suresh Kalmari is sitting in Tehar jail right now. And that this, these, these actions is what the Congress keeps throwing back at the opposition as part of their clean-up act and as part of their commitment against uh, corruption. Mm. So for uh, any party leader to be showing any sympathy to these people is something that uh, will definitely raise eyebrows in the party and that has already started to happen.